How to add HTML code to Google Sites. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to add an HTML code to your Google Sites. So the process is going to be very easy and simple. We're going to head over uh, Google or sites.google.com, sign in for an account and after that we are going to find the uh, dashboard. Now what we're going to do next is going to be very simple and easy. We're going to head over the website that we want to add the uh, HTML code for. So I'm going to choose one of the websites such as this one and we're going to open up the editor. Now we're going to head over the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen and we're going to have something called embed. So either we are going to embed a um, let's say here a code which is going to be the simple block or you can go ahead and embed a full page. We're going to start by embedding a block. Click on here and you're going to find that we're going to have by URL or embed code. By URL is not going to be a full embed, but basically we're going to have from the website something. But if you're going to click on embed code, we're going to put the HTML code here. I'm going to give you some examples of inserting HTML codes. You can go ahead and have, let's say, some widgets or these widgets are going to be uh, something basically that you are going to have either from third party platforms or you're going to have them just like here. I'm going to talk about a square up or square appointments, which is going to have a specific widget. Uh, before that, I'm going to uh, put a little bit of a disclaimer here. Everything created in this video, such as email addresses, phone numbers, addresses, and also names are going to be created only for the sake of the video and not for any personal reasons. So make sure that you are going to use your own information for that. Now we're going to head over, for example, the square appointments. We're going to head over the online booking and we are going to get a widget. Now this widget is going to be uh, for booking uh, arrangement or booking, let's say, uh, specific appointments. So I'm going to view my widget. It is going to be a widget just right there. So this is the widget. Now I, I can go ahead and edit the widget. And we're going to, after that, set up everything. So we're going to click on save. And at the end, we're going to have a widget code and also a booking, a booking button code. I'm going to have this uh, HTML code. We are going to paste it here. Click on next. We are going to insert it and it is going to be here. The widget is going to be loading just right there. We're going to give it a little bit of time because it is going to be something like that. And this is how we can go ahead and put a widget. Now for the pages, you can go ahead and embed a full page by putting here the name of it and also a custom path for it. So that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you in the next one.